So good everyone, I'm Becky Mayu Hernandez, first year college from BSNYD. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you the assessing the abdomen of our patient. But first I'm going to introduce myself to my patient and verify his name. So good day sir, I'm Becky, your student nurse for today. May I ask what is your name? How old are you? So after that, I'm going to explain to my client what we're going to do and why it is necessary. So the rationality of this is for the patient awareness in what we're going to do in the whole procedure. So good day sir, for today I'm going to assess your abdomen for us to know if there are any abnormal abnormal problems that we do. Okay, okay so next I'm going to do the hand hygiene. So the rationality of this is for uh, for us to avoid the spreading of microorganisms or the cross contamination among patients or client or vice versa. Okay, so for the next procedure, we're going to provide for client privacy. So the rationale of this is. Um, for the patient to be comfortable in the whole procedure. For example, close the door or close the curtains. So next, we're going to assess the following to our patient. Okay. So sir, nakaranas na po ba kayo ng pagbabago sa appetite po ninyo? Um, Naka-experience na po ba kayo ng pain sa abdomen ninyo? So after that, we're going to assemble the equipments and the things that we will be needing. First is the examining light, um, tape measure, or any measurement, water syllable, lubri um, lubricant for skin marker, and lastly, our stethoscope. Okay. So after that, now we're going... Um, to assess the client into a supine position and we're going to place a small pillows beneath the knees and the head to reduce the tension in the abdominal muscles. Sir, pwede po ba kayong humita? So now we're going to inspect for the skin integrity of our patients. So, sir, kami lagay na lang po siya. Okay, so the abdomen is normal. Um, the color of the skin is paler, paler than the general skin, but it is normal. And I don't see any lesions, scars, or any discoloration found with the abdomen of our patient. Okay, so now we're going to inspect the abdomen of for any contour or any symmetry. So, sir, pwede po ba kayo humingi ng malalim? Isa pa po. Isa pa po. Okay. So, I don't see any... Uh, um, so, in the abdomen of our patient, everything is normal. The abdomen is symmetry. And I don't see any organ enlargements or bulges. So, the abdomen is flat and rounded. So next, we're going to assess this um, symmetry of contour while he's standing to the foot of the bed of our patient. Sir, pakirelax nga po yung kapal. Okay. Okay, so the abdomen is symmetry also because both sides at the both sides are same and nothing to worry. So, there is no abnormal findings detected. So, next we're going to observe the abdominal movements associated with respiration, um, peristalsis, and aortic um, pulsations. Okay. So, sir, pwede po ba kayong humingo po? Isa ba po? And in the patient breath is normal and there are signs of peristalsis in the client's abdomen and 
which is normal. Okay, so everything is normal with the with that inspection. Okay, so now we're going to proceed in inspecting the vascular pattern of our patient. and there were no vascular pattern detected or visible in the client's abdomen as he breathes. Okay, so we're going to proceed in auscultating the abdomen for the bowel sound, vascular sound, and the diaphragm of dust. And we're going, uh, and the per peritoneal friction rub. So, uh, here we will be using the diaphragm of the stethoscope. So, Okay, so there are presence of the bowel sounds with the abdomen of the patient of the four quadrants of his abdomen. So, okay, so now we're going to auscultate the vascular sound using the bell of the stethoscope. But um, since I don't have bell with my stethoscope, I'm using the diaphragm. So we're going to auscultate also the aortic um, renal arteries and, uh, and then the iliac arteries and the femoral arteries and listen for any groups. So there are no presence of any roots, and the sound, the sound is uh, so the sound that I heard is everything is normal, no abnormal findings that I heard. So uh, note I cleaned the diaphragm of my stethoscope before putting in the abdomen of my patient. Okay, so now we're going to ask to take the peri peri Daniel friction um, rubs. Okay, so the uh, um, everything is normal as I ask to pay the four quadrant of our patient. So th there are no abnormal findings detected. So now we're going to proceed in percussing the abdomen of our patient. First, we're going to percuss the several areas in each of the four quadrants to determine the presence of any tympani or dullness. Okay, so there were no signs of 
of normal dullness and only the thing that I've heard is the tympanic sounds of the abdomen of her patient. Okay, so now we're going to percuss the labor to determine is its size at beginning at the right lower quadrant of the mid clavicular lines and percuss upward. Okay. So normally, no tenderness is elicited and there is no pain detected or reported by the patient. Okay, so now we're going to proceed on palpation of the abdomen. Okay, so sir, pwede na po kayong mahiga. Okay, so now we're going 
we're going to proceed in palpating the bladder of our patient. distended bladder palpated with, the, with our patient. So next we're going to palpate the spleen of our patient. Okay, so the spleen is normal. It is seldom palpatable at the left postal margin. So next, we're going to perform the task for shifting dullness of our patient. So sir, do you feel anything? Okay, so the borders between tympani and dullness remain. Um, relatively constant throughout the position changes. Okay, so now we're going to perform the fluid wave test with our patient. Okay, so there were no fine wave transmitted with the um, patient. So next, we're going to perform the test for a Bentis Okay, so there were no rebound tenderness detected with that. So next, we're going to perform the test for cholecytis or the Murphy sign. Okay, so everything is normal and no abnormal findings detected with that test. So now, after all the procedure, we're going to do the hand hygiene and clean the diaphragm of our stethoscope. We're going now to document all the relevant information that we've done in the procedure. So, sir, do you feel anything po ba as I, uh, as I assess your abdomen? Okay, so... how to assess the abdomen of our patient.